things we're trying to look at today is actual use cases, practical applications of blockchain tech, particularly within the enterprise sector. And no better way to do that than to have an actual demo on stage live. It's my great pleasure to introduce three ladies to join us here on stage as they take a look at the largest enterprise blockchain deployment in history. In fact, minting over 25 million patent NFTs on Casper. Join me in welcoming Leanne Pinto, president of IPWE, Meta Parlikar, co-founder and CTO of Casper Labs, our lovely host for this week, and Daniela Barbosa, general manager for blockchain and identity at Hyperledger, as well as executive director for the Linux Foundation. Let's give them a very warm welcome. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm Leanne Pinto, president of IPWE. We are a global innovation leader in AI and blockchain-based IP analytics software and services. Um, what are we here for today? Kind of just dropped the, the lead right there at the beginning. 25 million patent NFTs. I mean, that's huge, right? It, it, it's, it's revolutionary. The technology that we're doing and what we're doing with Casper and we really believe this is the true manifestation of the promise of blockchain for enterprise. Um, no one ever before has done what we're doing. And it, it's the, one of the reasons why is because IPWE is at the forefront of the digital transformation of IP. Um, we are so proud to be introducing the first true blockchain and NFT use case for enterprise. This is how it's going to be adopted. Um, how we've done this, how we got here, IPWE's partnered with Clarivate. So Clarivate is going to be, we have a direct data feed from Clarivate. They have the world class data set on IP. World renowned, best in class. They are going to be feeding our NFTs that we're minting. We're, that ensures the data is accurate. It's a, a true representation of the actual assets that are verified. It's verified data. That's how we are powering the NFTs. But I'm also very proud to be here on stage with Meta and Daniela, two of our, our IPW's great partners, but more so proud to have two very intelligent, successful women on stage to make such a revolutionary announcement. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this is huge, but it's even a bigger thing for females to see a true representation of success in, in, in these spaces, in the blockchain and in the IP space, because we're still underrepresented. So I, I do want to give um, Meta a chance to, I mean, it's, Casper's been a great partner for IPWE, and I'm really happy to work with her. Uh, so I wanna kind of see, get your comments and, and your thoughts on what we're doing today. I am so excited about what IPWE is doing um, for the exact reasons that you mentioned. It is a real-world use case for enterprise adoption of a public protocol. And, you know, I've learned so much about intellectual property and working with uh, IPWE through this process. I mean, did you know that 10 to 15% of all patents that were bought and sold are bought and sold by, are sold by somebody that doesn't have the right to do so? And the, provenance for patents and intellectual property was, is really non-existent, right? And this is the problem that IPWE is solving. And I'm so excited about your future roadmap too. I, I, I'm not gonna drop, I'm not gonna drop <laughs> what your future roadmap is, but I can tell you it is actually a manifestation of the promise of blockchain, right? They have, uh, their future roadmap will actually bring competitors together to collaborate. And that, I am so excited about that because you know, we talk a lot about consortium blockchains, but we always have challenges with the governance model with consortium blockchains and the incentive models to get, you know, entities that compete in the space to collaborate. And I feel like this is just the first step and the future is so bright. I'm so excited to be here and partnering with you guys. You guys have been tremendous. So congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Meta. Um, and, and we're really happy. It's been great to work with you and, and to kind of work through the actual mechanics of what the NFT is going to look like, how the data feeds are going to flow. And, 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 and from a technical standpoint, to be able to have that relationship with you is great, but to have your support and, and kind of belief in what we're doing. And it, it's, a, it's a big undertaking, for sure. It is. But what we're doing is revolutionary. And it's what the enterprise world really needs to understand that there is 
an actual use for blockchain in enterprise above and beyond what people typically think of NFTs being used for now. So um, I also want to uh, hand it off to Daniela too. I mean, Daniela is with uh, exec executive director of Hyperledger. Um, they've been a huge partner. I mean, a believer and a promoter of IPW and what we've been doing since our inception. So I want to kind of get your comments on. Yeah. So, you know, the Hyperledger Foundation for the last seven years has really been building open source projects and communities that helped us get here today. So when we think about how we all looked at enterprise blockchain seven years ago versus what we are building today and what IPWE and Casper is talking about today, um, these things were probably not very imaginable back then. People were afraid to talk about permissioned and public together. And I do really believe that, and we, we saw that early on in 2016 and 2017, that the future was really a continuum of permissioned blockchains as well as public. IPWE leverages both. They're using Hyperledger Fabric and they've been uh, users of Hyperledger Fabric for a long time and now with Casper as well. And I think you were going to see more of those hybrid use cases as enterprises, as business networks understand the power of public and the need for consortium models as well for certain use cases. So at Hyperledger, we're really focused on finding these use cases and finding the code projects, the open source code projects that enable them. And then building the communities with the end user customers and with the, the, uh, the public blockchain layer ones and seeing how we can build better together. So when we talk about things like interoperability, this is going to be a network of network. How can these networks interoperate with one another? When we talk about identity, identity of things, identity of IP contracts, for example, how do we make sure that these data elements get moved across? So we're very excited about these use cases because it is the future of what we saw seven years ago when we created the foundation. Mm -hmm. And today, as I said, there's 16 different projects really addressing distributed ledger from a permission perspective, from a public perspective, interoperability, Web3. And um, I'm very excited about the opportunity to, to, to talk to your customers, to talk to the ecosystem that you're building. And, uh, and thank you for your leadership there. Yeah, and, and thank you for supporting us. And, and we truly believe that having Hyperledger as our partner and, and working with Casper, that that's, this is how enterprise really does understand how to adopt blockchain. Because it needs to be a hybrid experience, but there needs to be a understanding and a level of comfort and, and trust in what they're doing. And, and, and we hope to be able to provide that with you guys by our right. side. So well, it's how you. we build better together. Right, right. Um, exactly, so exactly. That's exactly right. Exactly. Um, so, I mean, 25 million patent NFTs, that's huge, right? I, but some people probably think, okay, so what, what's next? What's that mean? I don't, I mean, okay, great. What, so you got an NFT with a patent and what are you gonna do with it? Does it have a picture on it? Is it, is it Bored Ape? Is it going to have a meme associated with it or JPEG? Um, the question is, so what? Who cares? All of us should care. The world should care. I mean, what that patent NFT represents, it represents innovation. And innovation is important for the world. This is how society grows. It's how it develops. We're here in Davos right now during World Economic Forum. The, this is a, a thought center, thought leadership from everybody is here to talk about how do we grow and build better as an economy how, or as a society, how do we develop? But so we have patent NFTs, it represents innovation. Innovation is how we grow. How do you fuel that engine? How, how, how do you get more assets into that innovation engine? Well, it, it takes money. It takes a lot of money for research, for development, to get patents issued. And then you do nothing with it, right? You just have a bunch of patents and then what? IPWE is answering that question. We are providing the tool in order to identify where you can get that money for your innovation engine. Because a lot of patent owners don't do it right now and when they do do it, they fail miserably because they just don't understand what they have. So we have that missing piece, smart and tangible asset management. Cue the video. The world has transformed, but intellectual property management has not. Technology has reimagined business, driving digital transformation. IPWE will take you and your IP there. 
Today, IPWE is launching its revolutionary smart intangible asset management solution. The first and only AI and blockchain software for efficient, objective, and trusted valuation and management of IP. Siam is powered by 25 million dynamic patent NFTs to advance enterprise into the next generation of IP management. IPWE's Siam solution generates data-driven insights and valuation benchmarks, enabling you to better manage and understand your IP, and finally realize its full potential. IPWE, revolutionizing IP management.